So, was it difficult at home? I very hard to study like that. I got no table to like study inside. Why must you think like that? I know like it's hard lah. It's hard when friends laugh at you, but sometimes you just have to learn to be tough lah. Meritocracy in the developed world is unfair. Being born in any family shouldn't determine who you are and who you're going to become. To be very frank, it's like a 50% burden off your shoulder. Her lodging and her food is being taken care of. To help them be able to experience more things, gain more opportunities, so that they can chase their dreams. I miss you. A lot of people that didn't mind what my body says is, they'll help me no matter what. Why must I? You say what? Just say do it. Just say my name. I don't know how to talk to anyone, so I just cry every night in bed. Running away won't solve problem, one. Eh? Can you talk to somebody? I don't know. Post finish, come on. Now. I've been patient with you all. Sometimes you have to let the tears flow out. That's why the care person spend a lot of time to interact with the kids also, to gain trust. Just counselling work ah? Ah yeah, then the world will have no criminal. What rubbish are you talking about? <laughs> if you know that place like as well as I do, then you know why. Hey, surprisingly, quite a large number of active gangs today. This year, I've had some challenges and uh, kind of just straight me away from my academics and stuff. But I hope to focus back on that since next year, I'm going to be in secondary school. I hope that I'll be able to work hard and like start afresh. So if uh, join us, she will be with us from Sunday to Thursday. Is that arrangement acceptable to the family? Yeah. Okay. Before and after the open house, what was your thinking of dreams, mm. perhaps before and Before then... the open house, I actually yeah. thought I was going to be sent to like prison. Okay. I was like, is this like rehab or yeah. like, is this like girls home? We said that uh, <laughs> we want to uh, build some skills, right? And then do something at every meeting. Everybody will lead a game, lah. so today I'll lead it. Okay, then we just uh, build our capability lah, in terms of having people interact and have fun. <laughs> can three of us or not? Cannot, can one person. Apple, ice, uh, question blue. Mark, ice cream, <laughs> what is this? No, what, is what is this? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Ice, we say ice one. Bloody next week, how? Uh, should be ready already. I'm going to miss my family lah, every weekdays. But your kids know already lah. Yeah. I explain to them. Explain to them. Especially my daughter. La. So she don't really get what I do. La. For us who are not so experienced working with you, no. it could be a more comfortable approach. La. Equal Dreams is a um, secular co-ed weekdays residential campus for kids who come from the low-income family. The youth that we are looking at is 12 or 13 years old. We provide full scholarships to the youth, so they are aspiring kids that want to achieve more for their life. And we want to help them to break up from the poverty cycles that have been entrapped in. Yeah, behind This is my dream job because I think my life mission is about supporting children from low-income families. A bit nervous to be exact. We believe in you, okay? So just do your best. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, that is your choice. Kita, we all will never force you, right? Yep. And I also believe that Equal Dreams will help to guide you through your dreams. When you are starting, I think like from P6 going to like SEC 1, then I see like macam you more to everything like keep to yourself. And I, 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 during that time, I was like macam scared that you don't know how to social, social with friends. 
you know like your kaka all primary three, primary four, primary five all got friends all come for Hari Raya. But you now going sec two already next year. Not even one friend come for Hari Raya. Macam rasa apa eh, very takut nak berkawan dengan you know, scared to macam mix around, mingle around people like, like you scared people will look down on you ke apa macam itu, is it? Sometimes. Why? The the thing is like I can enter I can enter mingle with friends. It's just that like like I like, like, like very scared to uh, ask ask them if they're like free because like most of the time I see them that like, they're like hanging out with uh, other friends and then they all have like plans. Then I really can't find like find one to like talk to with. That sometimes the expression of your face make people like scared to approach you. That's why I say be more friendly, yeah. smile. Uh-huh. Like the one I tell you that I went to like some like sky obstacle and then like I uh, I actually fell and like was hanging around the rope, it's having like low self esteem. Like maybe they laugh at me for like. Bukan low self esteem, itu nervous. Like, like <laughs> I wouldn't say nervous lah. Like very like like uh, wondering what other people think seeing a fat kid hanging. Yeah, no, you are the one who yeah, always think know. negative. Why must you think like that? I know like it's hard lah, it's hard memang sometimes heartbreaking, you know, when friends laugh at you because of the outlooks, all this kind of thing, but sometimes you just have to learn to be tough lah. So promise me anything, talk to me, you don't keep everything to yourself. Sometimes I really don't know what, what, when I ask you okay, you say okay, okay, okay. I booking in my body uh, school. Alright, you do fasting carefully for yourself, okay? Okay, Nene. Hey, push on. Today I talk to your wife mm-hmm. because to this uh, Google family link. Okay. So Google have this uh, function whereby you can monitor your child's whereabouts mm-hmm. and also to control the handphone lah. You see. Okay. So you can so control this. I phone can la. off his handphone. <laughs> oh, can like also lah. La. <laughs> <laughs> I leave it to you lah. To you. <laughs> My number one goal is to make every children be mindful of the regulation, and my biggest fear would be someone absconded, like running away from this campus in the middle of the night. Thank you. Hey, where the rest? Do I have here? Yeah, never come. No. Tapi, tiga mas. Hei lah. Hei, that is for uniform, Siri. Hmm, I miss you. Alah, five days, five days. Eh, four days, sorry. Dah balik. Ha? Hmm. Alah, 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 bam, bam. Okay, dah. Bye, bye. Okay, okay. Yeah. Are there a car needs to be separate? Oh, that's our kids. I don't know, it was really. Oh, you see, I think I'm kidding. You sure it's not your number? I always do that to show people to give me guns. Okay, scholars, it's an app. So, to get to know each other better, what you will be doing is called a mingle. And what food would you see for you? Why? Where you stay now? I stay at Wadding Campus. 
or boys home or those for Paikia one? No lah. Eh, hey, of course not lah. <laughs> this one is my study eh. Yeah. I want to trust you all. Okay, I don't want to take your timetable and check thoroughly. See whether you're coming back on time or not. Okay, it's at the TKSS there. So we have a few guests here with us. They will be helping you guys with some activities. Firstly, draw a heart shape. How are you feeling today? It's a nice and good. You can color them. Identify your feelings and color the heart. What's the difference between the bed here and the bed at home? Hmm? We can talk more about this and then see how we can help you out to be more comfortable in this kind of environment. Okay? But good job in participation though. Okay, even though you are sad, bored and everything, you still participate. Okay, it's very nice. So this one here, that yeah, may be positive energy, not so nice energy. Use this journal as your second brain. Allowing them to capture your feelings inside. There's no right or wrong in the feelings. So it's a bit uncomfortable for you to be living in a new environment like this. Is it too much? Yeah. How can we help you? Are you currently thinking of going back? Because my brother took my bed. It makes you feel like your bed has been taken away, your identity has been taken away. There were a lot of people coming into his room. Uh, so it dis disturbed his sleeping and all that. One of his concerns is also that he needs his sleep so that he can go to school and study. He doesn't uh, want to get scolded or get caught sleeping in school. We need to ensure that maybe come up with some kind of room rules. I haven't gone to school and I already want to cry, yes. Yeah, but... Some more, some more. 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 Okay, bye bye. Have a bye. good day. Now, even meritocracy is in question, right? You know, because it's true. Meritocracy in the developed world. It's unfair. Yes, everyone has access to good school. Somebody who has resource over prepare the kids. Somebody with no resource can't even start because the teacher is so far ahead already, they can't catch up. So superficially, it looks okay. But in reality, the gap has gone further. You have 14,000 families with school-going kids in Singapore, living in HDB rental. I would say less than 20% make it to tertiary academically wise. A big percentage of these kids get influenced to walk the wrong path. I keep reminding you all, we are not looking at the pilot phase. We are looking at prototyping. 
There is no gold standard yet. In fact, we are hoping at the end of the day you become the gold standard, you know, of how this place look like. And and you are stressed huh, because you are the guinea pig, and then having to experiment. If we don't get it right, if we don't find the prototype, it's unlikely the kids will get this chance for a long, long time. So the burden is quite heavy on us, and I hope that was. A lot of people are also very unsure about this project because it has not been done before. And I think a lot of people in the social service industry has a lot of caution against taking children away from their family. A lot of people have advised me against doing this. I wouldn't use the word controversial, but misunderstood, because we are serving now a cohort that is largely considered, I guess, more problematic. They are behind in their literacy. They are behind in having the right framework in daily life to do well in their study. We really want to be an inclusive society. And for this group, they need initiative like this. So anyone knows why you're here? I'm quite sure all of you all know, just a bit shy to say, but you're here for the volunteer training, right? Because I heard that um, in VJC, you have to do the VIA, right? The Values and Actions. I'm glad that of the many options that are out there, you chose to come here. Why we are here is actually to kind of support these kids, to help them be able to experience more things, gain more opportunities, and as well to, so that they can feel the confidence and the courage to chase their dreams. That's why we are called Equal Dreams. Right? These kids are not here because there's like behavioural problems or issues like that. So it's not a home, it's not reformative, it's not corrective. Okay? So it's just like any boarding school that you see out there. Don't have to worry about rushing into the work so quickly. Right? Um, do try to consider building rapport, listen right, to the kids and try and identify not just their needs but also their strengths. Because these strengths can actually be leveraged to help them um, develop in other areas. Right? Okay? Sure. I'm not good at Chinese. Then how if I'm young, then I just like like Chinese together. I mean, by first time, Chinese together. Because why? Later, your cousin later no more better. Today, Japanese. Japanese. That's what he says. Okay. 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 Nowadays, tuition fees are like crazy expensive. Can. We don't have dedicated staff for each area of support, but we want to leverage and work with the community. So the intention is also to let the youth know that there are a lot of people that care for them and want to journey together with them to achieve their goals and aspirations. How do you open? How was school today? Boring. <laughs> Boring. And then I see a class and then teacher knock my table and then knock. I just wake up and then she scold me. 
your English teacher know that you're staying here and you're waking up very early or what? Never, she do not. She do. Then I tell her lah, I did, then she can understand. Yeah. What you watching? You know, living Bobby, right? My first two nights here was uncomfortable because of the bed and then because of people very noisy. I don't dare to go to the toilet alone at night because still I scared. Ryan said nobody. When ghosts come, then he will eat the ghost. Sometimes we have to follow him in the toilet because he's scared of uh, ghosts. Okay, so your goal here is to lose weight, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to help you. I mean, for those, like when we have those sports and wellness activity, if possible, you try to join. Uh. Do better. Don't give up, okay? Uh, I also don't like the feel of, uh, what do you call it? Failure. Failure. So if you fail, carry yourself up again and move on. Uh, I would describe Mr. Fulani as a... I guess a father to uncle figure. When Mr. Falani helped me exercise, I felt uh, a lot of courage uh, building up inside of me. Seeing how there's uh, a lot of people that didn't mind what like my body size is, they'll help me no matter what. Because I feel like every time my body like jiggles, I feel like people, like my classmates will laugh at me. My goal this year is to lose weight so then I can have a better self-esteem and better outlook on myself. I definitely miss my kids. I only can see them on the weekends. My daughter soon will turn into a teenager. That's partly the reason why I want to join Equal Dreams, so I can better prepare myself to interact with my daughter. Assalamualaikum. I bring you out for lunch. Okay, good. Come. Come, help me again. Oh, Papa miss you. Oh. Okay. Never see you what? One week. Never see you all. Cuk at rumah semua okay lah. Yeah. Huh? Mama okay? Mm -hmm. Managing well with you all lah. Kakak actually cry when you are... No! No sense! Kakak cry when uh, Papa not at home. Kakak miss Papa. She, she tell you that. I miss you too. It's just that I don't have time to call you because uh, when you're asleep time, Papa still need to take care of the children. Mm. I need to cry. Huh? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Need to show. <laughs> Yeah, Papa here already. Okay? Papa also miss you. You make Papa want to cry also. But are you okay or not? Papa away. Huh? Huh? A bit. Okay. Uh, you just need time, okay? Papa for every night Papa think of you so Papa put uh, our family photo inside Papa computer. So I remember you all. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Papa will come back. Papa won't go away for so long. Only five days. Okay? Hmm? Happy uh, to know that you really miss me. I also miss you a lot. really touched my heart. I never had that kind of... Uh... reaction from her. So I'm very grateful 
that she showed her softness towards me. Yeah. Uh, what you do when Papa leave, Mama send Papa to work, then you cry, what do you do? No, I never tell Mama. <laughs> what time do you guys usually go to bed? 10.30. 10.30. I think most of the boys are like, like secretly, uh, secretly like, uh, I don't know, like playing phone or something. Have you like meet new friends? You know how like most of the time in school I look very like dead. Yeah, dead face. Yeah, I do sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then uh, my mother pointed that out. Then I start reflecting now. Uh, then I just want to show more emotions. So that, that's why you can see more emotions in me lah. Uh, because I'm trying. I'm trying uh. Do you have a best friend in the boarding school? Uh, his name is Arik. So like uh, Arik, scared of the dark lah. Uh, was like very kind, you know. So then I decided to friend with him lah because uh, because like he's like a little brother to me. Oh okay. I just like want to be that one big brother figure, that big brother figure that you can talk to, because that's what, that's my goal in this campus. So then everyone can feel comfortable. Is it like very very hard for you to make friends in that boarding school? A bit lah because like, I don't know how to interact with people lah because. Do you want to know how to make more friends? No, no, I, I, no. I, I, I know how to make more friends. Uh. I just am socially awkward. Why? Like during primary three, uh, you know how I hated my reform teacher. Like he made my self esteem like go down, lah. Uh. I didn't want to go to school because of him, lah. Uh. Because I was so young, uh, I don't know how to correctly do sentences. Like instead of calmly like explaining to me, right, he keeps screaming, keeps screaming. I there's this one time I should, I, I nearly cried, yeah. Uh. But now, now, now that more, I want to uh, uppercut him. Because if it, if it I recommend you don't uppercut him. I go uppercut, uppercut him. I don't care. Yeah. You know, when I was your age, I came from a good school, but I was in the worst class. I was in that place where I had to join gangs because people would come up to you and say, hey, bro, want to smoke or not? Hey, you need protection, right? You join our gang. But music saved my life because I joined the school military band. Just like you guys, you suddenly have an opportunity about a lot of things. How many of you like music? How many of you? Come on, show me. Yeah? In maybe three months, we're going to have a fundraising event. I want to do a musical. People will be very proud of you because at the end, we're going to show all of your talent huh, in front of the minister. Okay? Yeah, and he's... Hey, hi, Drizzle. Come, 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 come. Okay, so what I do is I want to hear how high you can sing or how low you can sing. No, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Well, this is a new program. We don't go out to the masses and try and raise funds. Because it's untested, there are no obvious funding available. We approach very limited number of people whom we believe understand the need to launch this initiative. So I decided to approach Clement to work with the kids. Yes, you got it. I believe that it's very healthy to get those who are benefiting from the fundraise involved in it in a dignified, in a positive way. Is there another life that I can have? Yeah. Is there a dream that I can chase? A dream that I can chase. Again, ready, go. Is there a dream that I can chase? Wow. I'm sorry. Can, can make it, can make it. Don't be sorry, can make it. Okay, cool. What do you want to be? When I grow up? Yeah. I don't know yet. I guess I want to be like a teacher, like a kindergarten teacher like that. Oh, wow. Uh, my dream is to be a kindergarten teacher oh, for okay. disabled Second people. One. Yeah. For disabled people, yeah. now that's different. Yeah, not like normal kids because I figure out that I can be, I can connect with disabled kids really well. It's a bit more challenging. Yes. But, uh, 
I also like want to try it out because I'm someone who don't give up really easily. So, was it difficult at home? I very hard to study like that. Ah, because the the room inside. Uh, the room is like um, I I got no table to like study inside. Okay. Now we are in rental. Okay. Then my mom is trying to build out financial so she can buy a house by the end of this year. Okay. Wow, that's cool. So when you went through all this period, divorce was difficult, lah. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very good experience for her. To be very frank, it's like a 50% burden off your shoulder. Financially, her lodging and her food is being taken care of. I do not have to worry that she's alone at home, nobody's taking care of her. After work, I can easily go off and do another part-time. difficult to rest because you want to be, a, you want to be in a, by yourself. I did not enjoy my time here was because um, firstly there was like a lot of miscommunications with my dorm mates and people here because sometimes when I get mad I will like slam the door, bang things around so at times when my dorm mates is inside the room and when they try talking to me, I just ignore them. And I can't like quite get along with others here. So I will like feel very lonely. Do you cry to sleep? You update me about tonight, okay? Oh. So do you feel any tension with them last night? No, because I sleep, they will come. So do you feel like you have to avoid interaction? Ah? I don't know. Never mind, we take one step at a time. Yeah, as long as you are still here, we, we always have a chance to make something different. Ah. Okay? Then is the lowest and ten is the highest. Okay, make a request ma. about your stress I want to know more about it. I hope that our role in their lives really are care persons. Yeah, people who care for them, people who they can come to. Yeah, to not be afraid to share with us what's happening. I think she has a lot of difficulties currently, uh, living together with the rest. Yeah, and I think that has caused her to want to distance away. Yeah, but that I think forms a kind of cycle that may not be helpful. So that is one of my biggest concerns. I don't know how to talk to anyone, so I just cry every night in bed. I actually made a promise to my mom that if I get a good grades, then I can drop out. My goal for this year is to pass any year exam so that I can move back home. wanted to play with us, but like we didn't allow, mm. cause like it's full. Then after we asked him to wait, then he just start making irritating faces. Then he just like start interrupting and like just cut through the place. Mm. And then we ask him to make more funny faces. Then we shout at him, ah. ask him go away and stuff like that. And I think it's best for you all to talk to him nicely, not only one person, but all of you. But... Yeah, but it's so hard to talk to. Here's the problem. What if in future you met this kind of people? You need to ignore him? What if he is your partner? Let's say in a company. 
then I will uh, ask to change. Is that the only solution? If there's nobody, cannot change at all. Then I partner uh, with the manager. You need to solve your own problem first. Don't always get the easy way out. Uh, uh, but then solving it will like make it harder. That's life. How to solve? For me also, yes, I know the easy way out is tell tell teacher. Run away. Tell teacher. The teacher will make him stop. Yes. But the next day? And then, uh, okay, I bet there was once I asked all, all everybody to like just ignore him. Mm -hmm. Then after that, uh, he made us so irritated. At night, we started uh, like trolling with him and stuff like that. What oh, if yeah. I gather you all and you all talk with me around? But I keep quiet. I want to listen to what you all say. Can? No, my friend is sleep, bro. Everybody, get the session. Hey guys, get the okay. At eight o'clock in the uh evening, right? Must meet Mr. Flani downstairs to talk with Mr. Flani about. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna sit up here. Hi, eat. You complain or what, Shia? Yeah. Can you complain or what? Then after that, no, no. Was my name mentioned? Huh? Was my name mentioned? Is it everybody? Okay, okay, I'll tell you something. I, I treat him nice, but, but you know what? I starting to get angry. He always... He always pull out of face, no, right? No! He always make fun of me. He yeah. always laugh at me. I'll be nice yeah. to him. Wait, okay, okay. So you say that to Mr. Tony tomorrow, okay? Tommy, he annoying. Yeah, say that to him, done. Okay, okay. Tommy, he I was forced to come to Eco's Dreams because my parents just felt like putting me here. They want me to achieve my dreams slash goals for my future to have a better life. My dreams are to become a chef in Singapore. I plan to take up culinary in ITE, go to higher NITEC, then try to go to Tomasic Poly. At first, I didn't know what to expect, but once I met the people here, they were quite chill. So I started making good friendships with them. This is like Russian roulette. You are the roulette. Huh? Well, friendships are like the foundation for your adult life. Because if you have like bad friendships, you'll possibly lead to like trust issues in the future. I feel like I'm the therapist here as most of the people, they don't mind approaching me to tell me about their feelings and I can give them decent advice. Depends on your definition of decent at least. I'm not trained. I'm very disappointed I never get into badminton. Because I perform badly. I was very tired and I, have, I, I was not in the mood to play. Ah boy, I tell you something. When you get a haircut, you don't blame the haircut, you blame your face. What's my face? Oh, my face. It's a phrase! He does seem to be more mature. He protects the scholars here emotionally. So sometimes when he sees that one of his roommates is feeling emotional, he will then tell me, yeah, yeah, I'm looking after him. I will let you know if there's any problem. No system. Huh? Yeah. No music. <laughs> no. So, today I'm going to be rehearsing some very some simple moves. Are you all trying to be funny? Seriously? We're going to start with a right leg step out. We go one, two. Bring your right hand up, grab, and pull towards you. And draw that rainbow. Bring your hand towards you, and we go. Five, six, seven, eight to the side. So on my count, we go one and two and three and four and pull. Okay, ready? Look. 
okay so this one opening only so don't don't worry about like wow i got to do so many things you saw how i dance or not but very good. good it was very good <laughs> yeah it very was a full of emotion makio <laughs> well, why not see, see it shows that it's broken my heart oh, oh, oh. Nick, 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 Nick does yeah, i done okay, that's yeah, why i got her the, she was so funny uh, Stephanie, Miss Stephanie, to Stephanie. Share, okay? Just now, the one who asked you all to meet in the middle. Oh, the one that shot. Uh. She shot like she a board member, like, Hey, I give you five seconds, come here. Five, four, three, two, one. Apple, see? They wanted to say something. Just don't leave like the urge to throw my shoe. Y'all don't like, right? Y'all like, y'all like, I thought I That evening, all 25 of y'all will have to be involved only for the first song. It's only one segment. Yeah. And this is very important because number one, whoever is sponsoring you guys will be seated right in front. And these are the people who will be paying for everything that you're doing right now. Living, spending, everything here. Let me be honest. I honestly didn't want to take this job. I wasn't interested. Though. But when they told me about your story, they shared with me where you came from and what is your story and what is this school all about. Immediately I said, I want to be part of this project. Before I became a dance teacher, you know what I said? Dancing is for losers. That's what I said to my friends. But you know why I became a dance teacher? Guess why? I why? all to say, but then they thought I ended up in yeah. you. No, no, it's okay. Just go ahead, say it. Yeah. Say all you want. Just become a loser. <laughs> yeah, you can say that because I'm a loser. But this loser <laughs> has helped thousands of people. I've been doing this for nine years. I've, I'm very confident to say that I have changed a lot of lives out there. I came from a broken family. I know what it feels like. But the only reason why I took this job is because I want to get out from whatever that I, I'm facing at home. So when I teach people to dance, I don't teach them to dance like fools. I teach them to dance like a superstar because I want them to shine in their own way. After you hear his speech, you feel that you can consider that. Okay, thank you for sharing. Anybody want to add on what happened just now? You were just lying down there, all of a sudden, all of a sudden she said, you have five seconds to come here. No. She thinks you who's here. So that part really is we overlook. Yeah, there's some miscommunication. So they thought that every student will be here. Yeah, then we didn't know that every student has to be here. Mm. I still feel like shouting at her. Okay. Is, the, is it the way that she talked or yeah. what she, she said? she's angry, what, make, what gives her the right to shout at us? Oh, that's a good answer. Understand? Sounds like you are being disrespected. Okay. I get you, I get you. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing you, you have the opportunity to just shout back. But you didn't. And you know I would. Yes. Yeah, we know. Yeah. That's why, hey, why are we asking you this question? So that's why like, we, are, we are curious why you didn't shout back. What makes you not shout back? For the first time. Yeah, first time. It's not the first time. It is the first time. I think that it's very good self-control. Yeah, it's a strength. Yeah, it's a good thing. Only sometimes not. Dylan didn't take me, I whack him. <laughs> oh. yeah. Okay, I know why this is so shocking because we have always respected your decision, lah, right? Here, we ask y'all if y'all want to do, if y'all want to do, you do. If you don't want to do, we find another way, okay? Similarly, everything can be discussed, okay? We'll find a way. I hear you, I hear you that you don't want to dance and sing. Okay, I hear you like that. How you guys reacted to the situation, I think that's something that I want to praise each and every one of you. Y'all show self-control. <laughs> stop, stop. Number one, my Mr. Mohammed, in my perspective, is the best instructor here, like the best. Some people they have that good intention, they want to teach, they want to guide. What did I say? But uh, sometimes they forget that they are just 13, 14 years old, you know, and then the approach might be seen as demeaning, even. If he has a concern, he's not like afraid to ask, he's willing to ask any of us. Like, if there's an issue, he doesn't mind approaching me or any other guy to, like, calm the person down. The scholars were given a set of rules and a code of conduct that they need to follow. 
but as youth, we know that um, these are the rules that may not be easy for them and we always want to talk to the kids to understand where they're coming from. My role here really is to create safety for the youth. Uh, to me, safety is in terms of the physical safety, emotional safety, as well as psychological safety, to create this safety where they can be themselves. So a lot of times, you know, parenting is about like, oh, you are naughty, we put you in a naughty corner, but that suppresses the authenticity of the child because to seek attachment with the caregiver, the child knows that he has to be different. He can't be himself lah, at that point of time. I he can't be oh, oh, naughty, he can't be crying. I didn't. Yes, you did. I didn't. Yes, you cried. I didn't. So that suppresses his authenticity and I think that is what uh, lead to a lot of challenges that we have today. People are sadder, they are lonely, they find it hard to express themselves. We cannot be standing beside her all the time to make sure what she's talking about, right? So we need to talk to her, she cannot do that anymore. The future, long term. Abang masa depan, you tell what? Apa? Mati ya. I don't know, I feel so insecure. Yeah, that's why I skip school sometimes also. You got like any bullying experience? Yeah. They keep me into a corner and beat me up. Okay, I don't really agree that I'm overprotective. I feel like we're anything but protective. Lah. So the care person spend a lot of time to interact with the kids also, to gain trust. Just counselling work. Ah. Ayah, then the world will have no criminal. What rubbish are you talking about? Does it hurt your ears? No. no la. Got protection? Ah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Ah, 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 some more. Ah! Can you well, As you can see now, I tightened the shoe. Mm. <laughs> Later, you're trying to bunny ears. Bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> the bunny ears.